Hi there, I'm Guitar Hero Awakening 85, and in this video we're going to take a look at 9 lives for the Atari ST. This game is a platformer, and it is one of my all time favourite games. It's a really interesting platformer, it's got a, a totally different dynamic to most platform games. You, you're a cat, uh, and the control system is totally different from any other control system I've encountered in video games. Uh, it's also got a theme song that's one of my favourites, probably my favourite video game music. It's just a cool song. I don't know if, I hope you can hear it. So this is one of the first video games that I ever played. Possibly the first. I, I can't remember whether we got when I was, I don't know what, must have been eight. I think I was eight. Between five and eight years old when we first got an Atari and I'm not sure if this was it, if we got that first or whether we had the Nintendo Entertainment System first. But yeah, one of the first video games I ever played. So in this game to jump you have to you spring like a cat, since you are a cat. You have a ball of string which dispenses with the enemies that you encounter. The enemies in fact are actually really interesting little creatures that the, the the graphics designer or writer has come up with, uh, you'll see them in a moment, is absolutely solid hard game. Uh, so you hold back to jump, uh, sorry, you hold down to jump and you measure your jump uh, with the meter at the side here that you can see right here. See that goes up, a, the little tail goes up a bit. So that's your control system back, you know, walk forwards, left and right. Uh, so, first of all, there is more to the other side of the level, but I want to, want to show you the, the a variety of the game. Uh, like, the, the variety of the game uh, straight away. So you have to avoid spikes. And, <laughs> yeah. It can be tricky. It's a, a lot about time in this game. Uh, it's really... Nice graphics as far as I'm concerned. Uh, beautiful graphics for the time. Not sure what year this came out. You've got an energy oh crud. You've got an energy bar as well in this game. There are instant deaths, but like pitfalls in Mario, uh, that's just the spikes here. But see so you do have a bit of leeway in this retro game for hitting into bad guys and whatnot. There's a lot of really interesting character in this game. There is a lot to this game that, that makes it what I think is a classic game. I don't know how well known it is. I haven't heard anybody else talk about it. I haven't heard anything really to do with it. I was surprised I could get it on eBay. It was part of a family game pack that you could get at the time for educational software this was one of the games that you that came with it that we got uh, one christmas as a family gift and uh, we got we, had, we got the atari and uh, the family pack with it so you've got all these little crazy interesting uh, interesting little little bad guys like the rat uh, that twirly thing down there and the unicycling uh, cricket which i think is really cool uh, got spiders, owls, and the object of the game, which I've just been reminded of because of the cat in the, the cage, is to release all the cats from those cages, and the only way to do that is to get those keys. And uh, there's a, a few, yeah, the object of the game is to collect the keys and free the cats. I have never completed the first level, and when we first got it, I only ever got halfway through, I could only ever get halfway through the first level. Uh, there's another one of the bad guys there, the little tortoise. So we have no keys at the minute. Or I have no keys at the minute. But uh, various various different power-ups and whatnot throughout the throughout the, the level. And a, a fair variety of different enemies.
colourful game, plenty going on, 16 bit graphics, totally different from any platform game I've ever, any other platform game I've ever played. Uh, we've got the little frog here, the little boxing frog. Uh, this is something I di something that's different, you know. It's some somebody did something different when they made this game, and I really like it. I think it's 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 up there with what some of the best platform games that I've ever ever played. Some of the best platform games ever. It's, it's fairly tricky to get used to. It's it's all about timing. And it's very difficult, but it's rewarding. It it, it feels it feels right. It, it, you know, it, it works well, and uh, it's a good platforming experience. And one of the reasons I actually decided to get a, an Atari again was for this game. And it's definitely a, I'd say it's a title that's worth getting hold of. It's worth getting buying the system in order to get this game. I would say, but. Uh, You've got, there's all different stuff, this is the, the speed everything up, sort of power up that you come by, here and there. And, uh, there's a, a variety of different potions, some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are helpful, some of them just destroy you, <laughs> and make it impossible to complete. Ah. So you get nine lives. Hence, well, I suppose he's a cat, so it makes sense. Nine lives is a good number of lives as well, considering the difficulty of the game. I just like the character, I just think it, just all together, uh, all together a really, really good game. Rock solid though. Rock difficult. So, so difficult. But worth persevering with, I would say. Good animations, rem memorable characters, and, you know, cartoon charm, cartoon... I don't know what you would say, Car cartoon-like appeal, I guess. A cartoon-like atmosphere. So, yeah. I'd give this game five stars. It's one of my all-time favourites. Uh, I haven't actually completed any of the the objectives in this sort of review slash demonstration type look at it, uh, but it's so difficult. You have to sit and concentrate. And I just can't concentrate properly while I'm while I'm playing uh, and talking and try to do this video. But anyway, I've got a high score here, so yeah, great game, well worth a look, 5 stars. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one. Uh, would have showed you the box, but uh, don't have the, the, there's no box for it, and yeah, there's other videos on my site, uh, on my channel if you want to have a look, if you enjoyed this one. Thank you, bye.